squares, right? I don't like squares too. So could, did we learn something maybe about binomial expansion before? We see a binomial expanded. We could probably expand that out, right? We did, remember we did check it? Yeah. So. We can just multiply that out. Hopefully, you guys actually don't need to multiply x minus 2 times x minus 2 because you're definitely not going to do x squared minus 4, right? Because we know that's definitely not true. you got to multiply x minus 4 times x minus 4. And hopefully, you guys can do that in your head by now. And you get this, hopefully. Now, you might look at this and say, all right, well, I can um, now I don't have an x anymore. So what am I going to do in this case? So well, I recognize there's another equation up there I recognize. x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So why don't I just rearrange this? Oh, I do have an x. So could I rearrange? Um, so I could replace x squared, plus r, x squared plus y squared as r squared. I could replace x with x cosine of theta. And I could subtract that of both sides. Follow? No. Oh, wait. Isn't that supposed to be? 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, that's right. No, that's r cosine theta. All right. And then, again, guys, we want to solve for r, right? So technically, that is now in um, polar form. But if we want to solve for r, we can set r squared equal to 4 r cosine of theta. And then really, r squared, guys, is r times r. So if we divide by r, we get r equals 4 cosine of theta. Last question.